Welcome back to the ranch, folks. Today, we actually have something pretty special for you. Check out what our friends over at Lippert sent us. Two brand new 7,000 pound axles. We got a special surprise inside this box. What is it? What this is? This is a disc brake conversion kit. We're gonna do a bunch of testing on the stock axles and brakes that were on this trailer from the manufacturer. Really looking forward to seeing how this new disc brake system works. So stick around, check it out. We're gonna show you how easy this is to do. Lippert has state-of-the-art manufacturing facility. This is a big outfit and they can get your needs met. So now Lippert is introducing a limited offering of common axle sizes, configurations, and installation kits online for direct purchase. Lippert products are assembled in the USA and they're there to take you further. So if you purchase online at store.lci.com, that's where you can get your products ordered and shipped within 24 to 48 hours. We'll put the links in the description. You guys can go check out their products and see what they got. All right, we're gonna go get some of this sawdust, get a full load, and do this test. All right, Elliot's here. He's got a stopwatch on his phone. And he's gonna take and time our stops. So we're gonna do one right now. We're gonna get to 55. And we're gonna try and stop real hard. Gain is at 10. We're at 55 and start it now. Stop. So we're not gonna time these stops. As they're getting hotter, they're fading worse. So this is our third stop. They're really not doing much now. So we're gonna pull back into the ranch. I'm gonna have to use the truck brakes to slow us down now. So we're gonna find out real quick how many brakes are actually working. Oh yeah, they're smoking. Woo, them babies are hot. This brake drum is 603 degrees. So this other brake is now at 105. Different abilities. This one did the most. It's got a massive amount of heat in it, over 600 degrees. So this is this has cooled down quite a bit already from laying here, but you can see that. That's it, all right. Safety first. All right, got them all off, all the U-bolts. Gonna drop one end of the leaf springs down and get these axles out, slide the new ones in. A little crusty. There we go, try not to take your fingers off. All right. I like having good help. All right, one out, one to go. All right, let's get the new ones in. Come on, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, okay, that's enough. Up. All right, look at that. Boom, that's easy. You're gonna throw some U-bolts and plates on there. One, two, lift. One, two, lift. Yep, pretty much. Well, Great countdown. Three. I'm good on this side. You good? Boom, that's it, four bolts. Get those things tightened up, we're done. With that part, anyway. Yeah, with that yeah? part. Shiny U-bolts, plate. <sighs> Torquing these. All right, so five nuts and the backing plate comes off. All right, let's put our backing plates on. Oh, 
There we go. Pretty easy. Just reverse the order. Get your castle nut. Got a torque wrench on this. Just gonna let everything line up, made up, do what it's supposed to. And then we're gonna go ahead and just back it off. So if I come out one more, yeah, that's probably a little better. Bend that bad boy back into place. Like this and use some channel locks and snug that up. All right, there you go. Don't kink it. There we go. a little cheap power bleeder that we use but we actually use this just to also catch it we're just using the pump to force it out and i got elliot in the cab there and as i tell him to he just turns on the brake controller starts the pump up we're gonna get these things wet on good you really heard that pump prime up good. yeah good Jeez, that thing pushes the fluid. Okay. Good. All right, we'll give you a brief overview of what we've done here. So let's check this out. So we got two brand new axles, which you don't have to have new axles to put this conversion, but our friends at Lippert decided to just totally hook us up. We have disc brakes caliper we've run hydraulic brake lines here it's going to function very similar to your electric brakes as far as function on your controller itself so we're going to get these wheels on we'll take it for a test drive all right we're done we're going to put her down all right today's the big day we just took and got that thing all buttoned up we're going to go get another load and we'll see what we can come up with Down. Here we go 22,020. So we're quite a bit heavier than last load. All right, we're gonna do some stops. We're gonna time it. We only have the gain set at six. I'm afraid if I set it much higher, it's gonna drag the tires in the trailer. All right, we're gonna only be using the trailer brakes again. We're gonna do it for 55 miles an hour. Gain set at six. Start. Here we go. Wow, uh, that's like twice as fast. That's incredible. I'm gonna up the gain to seven. We'll do one more stop after we flip around. Like I said, I don't wanna catch these things on fire. They are breaking so much harder. And then we're gonna hit them with a thermometer. We're at 55. As soon as I hit this flat spot, we'll give it again. Now. stuff stops stop wow man that's like 13 seconds that's insane man this flat gets it major improvement this is impressive this is far exceeding my expectations so we'll show them mm -hmm. 330
All right, so it looks like the moral of the story is these brakes break evenly. They were all within, it looks like 60 to 80 degrees of each other. They were obviously just sitting here rapidly cooling. I mean, they dropped 150 degrees in seconds. Every time I went around, just within a matter of 10 seconds, they were cooling down rapidly. They break incredibly well. I cannot believe how well it stopped us. So again, totally impressed. Uh, this is unbiased. Yes, Lippert did partner with us, but I have a very big moral conflict with promoting a product that I don't actually believe in. And I'll tell you what, these brakes, this setup, this axle, the whole works. Man, it performs. Totally exceeded my expectations, to say the least. So in summary, very impressed. Thank you, Lippert. This is an awesome product. Any of you folks out there that want to increase your performance and braking on your trailers, I highly recommend at least considering this option. We're going to have some links below to the products that we used. You can go directly to Lippert, get this stuff ordered. They'll get it to you expeditiously. And thanks for watching, everybody. We sure appreciate it. Check us out here at Tinkery Ranch.